So this is the Aston Martin Vancus Zagato. And I'll be honest, I don't know much about these Aston Martins. I don't really care for them. I know this one's pretty rare. I believe around about 325 were made. So a pretty rare vehicle. But at the same time, to be honest, this just looks like every other Aston Martin, basically. Obviously powered by a V12. Let's have a look at the interior. Yeah, uh, it's sort of an Aston Martin interior, basically. I don't really know what else to say about this vehicle, to be honest. Because, again, this just looks kind of just like every other Aston Martin to me, anyway. The, um, the boot space is very, sort of, weird. <laughs> it looks very small. I suppose you only really need this to maybe transport golf clubs. Actually, I think this might have rear seats, actually. Can't really sell can't really tell because the interior like the windows are tinted a little bit i think it does i don't know maybe maybe it doesn't i don't know anyway so on to the customization now i'm not expecting a lot i wonder if there is a wide body kit and there isn't is there any forza aero or yeah just forza aero basically so yeah i'm not gonna put that on let's go and do the let's go and do the wheel track with first i guess i definitely want to replace the wheels because they don't really look that <laughs> they don't look good in my opinion yeah so i'm going to change the wheels as well i'm thinking something black but i'm not entirely sure what would fit really i guess i could do like a multi-piece wheel with like the center painted black like i did in the other cars but i'm not i'm not gonna do that i don't think yeah, they don't look that good. Um, I'm not entirely sure what rims I'm going to put on this vehicle, basically. I don't think anything here would fit. Um, maybe in the special, or like the sports section. Yeah, uh, actually. Yeah, I definitely want to go for something black. That could work. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, that one fits. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I wanted to go and rev the engine, obviously. Let's go and put engine upgrades on now. So as I said, I don't really know that much about this vehicle, so I don't know the performance. Um, yeah, I don't really know anything about this vehicle, basically. Obviously, I did look it up, and it is a rare vehicle, around about 300, I think 325 were made. Sort of all, all special editions, I guess, of this vehicle. Because I think there is special editions of this vehicle that were that made, like... This is obviously the coupe version. There is also like an open top version. I mean, there's a speedster version as well. Anyway, let's go and put the suspension on as well. Uh, I'm gonna go for the race suspension. Should I do weight reduction? Yeah, I think I will do weight re weight reduction. So gearbox, just put everything in this. Six speed gearbox. So this has a five speed gearbox. What? <laughs> so this has a five-speed gearbox. Okay. Um, let's go and put the six-speed gearbox in then, because I don't know why it's got a five-speed gearbox. <laughs> it seems a bit weird. It's got a five-speed gearbox. So yeah, anyway, that's it done, basically, I think. So I didn't go mad. I didn't like, upgrade it fully, but let's go and see what this would do, really. Obviously, I need to paint it as well. I am surprised it's got a five-speed gearbox stock. That is surprising. I guess people don't really... I don't know. It just seems a bit weird. <laughs> so let's go and paint this vehicle now. There's obviously red. There's this orange colour. Which isn't bad. Obviously the red as well. Ooh, that's an interesting gold colour. Yeah, it's not bad, that gold colour. Ah! That is like a common colour for Aston Martins, I think. I've seen that before on a different Aston Martin. Obviously, there's this sort of green colour and this blue colour, which... But all these colours don't look bad. I'm surprised that there's not, like, silver. But, yeah, this colour, that colour I've seen on several Aston Martins. Um, I don't know, I think it's the Vulcan or one... It's like a concept car, I think, or not really, like, a common car. I, I don't know, it might be a concept car, but I've seen it on that before. I'll include a photo, hopefully, of it. Yeah, so it's interesting that we got that colour for this vehicle as well.
So this vehicle is an interesting vehicle. It definitely is something that I think should have been in the game since launch, however. Largely because, well, I don't really understand why it wasn't since launch. I'm guessing licensing issues or maybe there's something wrong with it or something. But yeah, it seems a little bit weird that we had this car in Forza Horizon 4, but it's not in the game since launch for some reason. Although that is actually quite common with a lot of vehicles, which is quite annoying. But anyway, about this vehicle, definitely interesting. It is fast. It is okay handling. Also, it's going to the coffee shop area. I don't think I've ever actually really been here aside from when the update came out. Yeah, let's actually go in, I think. Where's the entrance? Yeah, there's the entrance. So yeah, I didn't actually go into this area when it was like here. Which is a shame really, because it's going to be gone by the time this video comes out probably. Yeah, they, I hope they do actually have like a proper like photo studio basically like that. but. Yeah, I hope they do do something like that at some point, because it is quite annoying. Also, I just really failed to get onto the ramp there then. Yeah, I do hope that they, like, return, like, the photo, like, the white photo studio. Hopefully that comes back at some point, which I don't think I actually used that, sort of, maybe once. I don't know, but, yeah, it's definitely interesting in this area. I do hope they bring it back. Anyway, about this vehicle is an interesting vehicle it definitely is fast it is an okay performance vehicle the only uh, uh, <laughs> it's crashed into a car then um yeah the only issue really with it is the bodywork basically i would much rather they have like different not forza aero bodywork basically like a wing or something because this doesn't actually have a wing and i thought it might have had like an automatic wing but it doesn't so yeah i don't know what's going on there Again, this is more of an issue with the Forza Aero in the game, really, because, yeah, it needs to be updated, the Forza Aero. <laughs> it's just really outdated and really just not good looking. But, um, yeah, this vehicle, it's not terrible. It definitely is a good performance vehicle. It definitely is fast as well. It is actually quite fast, but at the same time, Again, I just don't understand why it wasn't in the game since launch, really. I don't understand why we're getting vehicles that were in Forza Horizon 4. They're just not in launch, from launch, basically. I suppose the good thing is that the update that's going to come out, which is already out because it's Monday as I'm recording this, I suppose the good thing is that that update actually has vehicles that are new to Forza, basically, or I believe are new to Forza. There might be one or two that are sort of in previous games. But yeah, I believe those vehicles are new to Forza. Actually, what am I talking about? All the vehicles are new to Forza. <laughs> they're all new vehicles, basically, so they're all going to be new to Forza anyway. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about there, but yeah, all these vehicles are basically, like, I guess, high performance dailies. So, basically, normal cars are high performance. So, that's going to be interesting. Definitely vehicles that I'd much rather in this game than, say, another Lamborghini that we already have which I've said about 300 times already but yeah it definitely is going to be an interesting update we also get I think it's a good new game mode or something or no I think it was in the next update I don't know but it's going to be interesting anyway also as I technically have the mic set up now perfectly and just yeah it, I'm going to do more videos on this game in terms of other cars that I've missed in previous updates I've tried that before, but they just didn't come out very good. So hopefully I'll be doing more stuff on that. Maybe the Esprit that I wanted to do, but I couldn't in the end. Like I couldn't record it basically. Or something completely different. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing stuff on that. Also, obviously the Crew Motor Fest. And I think there's a Neva Speed update. Uh, at least Unbound update anyway. Like, obviously the Unbound update. But yeah, I think that's going to come out soon. But yeah, this vehicle... It is a good looking vehicle. I definitely like getting this paint scheme. I definitely like this paint colour. I need to find out the name of it so I can paint other cars that are not Aston Martins in this colour. But yeah, um, that's it basically. The new update is out now if it's Monday. It is Monday. It's not even Monday anymore. So yeah, the update's out. Uh, the season's obviously not changed yet. So yeah, this game, I guess this car's okay.